Okay, so here we have a gun holster, some plastic material. And one of my customers, you know, we get strange requests here at Jewel Tool, asked me if I can show them how to smooth down these sharp corners after they manufacture. Do you see how rough those edges are and to get into these nooks and crannies? And I told them we could easily do that on the Jewel Tool. It, it can be done in a few steps and you'll be able to have smooth edges just like here. I did this one just a little while ago just to test it out and you can get really nice smooth all the way into these weird areas. So I'll show you how this can be done really quickly on the jewel tool. See that again here, it's a spot. This whole area is another spot. You see that? Focus. There, very, very rough edges. And so when it's sharp, these edges, apparently they tear the clothes of people who are wearing these gun holsters. Makes sense. So I'll be using our scotch bright wheel in a fine. You can use the very fine as well. And the objective to using this is I'm going to be using our see-through action to knock the corners off. And then I'll be following with my 80 grit brush. Now the reason why I'm not solely using this is because this cannot perform all of that um, efficiently and accurately. So I'll go ahead and run the jewel tool at full speed and we'll get started. Wonderful. So I'll start anywhere. So I'll start right here, knock the edges down. Just keep knocking the edges down. There we go. Let's do one side first. That curved area. go. That should do that side. Now we're going to go in for this really sharp side. All right, beautiful. And then I'll go into this curve. Oh, that's a heavy burr. See, we knocked that down beautifully. Oh, it's already smooth. And then here we go. Knock down that sharp burr. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now I flip around and do the other side. Super, super easy. So follow the form. Oh, wow, gorgeous. That one I already did, right here I already did. And being able to see what you're doing will really help when you don't want to, you know, harm the texture as it has a texture. So I just lightly go over, just knock that edge off so it's not sharp here too. Beautiful. See how I was able to do that with that see-through action? Really, really helps pinpoint the areas you need to take care of. And that solves that problem. Make sure I got this side. And that's that's it for the Scotch Bright wheel. Now the next step would be, like I mentioned, is our 80 grit and a six ply. Now you can use a 120 grit. It just depends on how matte you want your edges. 220 grit will give you also a matte finish, but with a little sheen. So um, they wanted a matte finish, so I'm going to stick to the 80 grit. So I'm running this at full speed. And what's great is this these brushes will get into a, like that curve. Do you see how it just got in there? You just lightly want to go over it super, super easily. Lightly. And it's a super easy finish. Very nice. You don't want to apply too much pressure. And you see that nice little finish you get? You see that? It's super, super nice. I didn't even do the other side and it's like super smooth now. And then we'll get into that curved area. Make sure it's all smooth, done, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right here, nice and smooth. 
very nice. Make sure we get all those edges. And what's nice is, you know, as I'm working like this, I can see what's happening versus like this on your conventional bench grinder. I can see it, nothing's flicking in my face, none of the debris or anything like that. It's all flowing away from me. It's a very, you know, easy way to work. Safe. It doesn't want to yank it out of my hand. It's very safe and easy. And so I'll just keep going. That should do it. Very, oh, wonderful. Look at that, it's so cool. Just glide right over it, and then we're pretty much done. I'll just whisk it one more time on the other side. And that side's already been done. There we go. Yep, and then let me just hit it on this side, just to smooth any kind of... Very nice. And do you see how I'm not affecting the texture at all in any way, shape, or form? Do you see that? You see how the texture is not compromised? Because the step prior to that, I was able to see where I'm grinding the edge off, that sharp burr. And here I just lightly go like this, just to smooth the edges a little. Beautiful. Smooth, 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 all done. See, and if I wanted to get in here, I would on this area. Same with this area right here. And you just go like this and get all the way in there. Very nice. And I think I'm done. That was it. Yep, and we're all done. Just make sure I got this done. Yep. Oh. I wish I had feel a vision so you can feel how smooth the edge is. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the final look is. Look, the stubborn one right here, but we got that. Okay, so we're done. So I just want to have you guys take a look at how smooth those edges are now. See that? Super, super smooth. None of that sharp, oop, hold on. None of that sharp edges, and we were able to go all the way into something that looks like a U, and all the way in here, clean up all those rough edges, and there you go. Super, super clean matte finish, without affecting the um, textured surface, because you didn't want have that polish. See, prior to the jewel tool, they were able, they did this with buffs and compounds, and if you notice, there is no matte. They did affect the outside appearance and whatnot versus the nice clean matte look that we've maintained. If you look, there's no shiny edges. If anything, there's just nice smooth edges. Ugh. Like I said, I wish there was feel of vision Everywhere is super smooth. And you can do a final little, you know, run through of your thumb to see if there's any burr that is still left. And if that's the case, you just go in and, you know, sand it down and you're done. But other than that, here we are. Sanding the edges of a plastic gun holder. Done on the jewel tool.